Okay, it's been a while since I did my last project. Uh, just got sidetracked on a few things. Anyway, uh, one of the things I was working on that didn't work out so good was uh, basically had the idea of splitting a PS3 DualShock controller in half and making a holder or a game controller with a holder for an iPad or any Android tablet. Um, so basically I started on that and as you can see uh, with this thing what I did is split the uh, controller in half as you can see there and there as you can see it wasn't finished uh, what happened was I got the thing working and just as I was putting it together uh, it stopped working basically I don't know what happened I think I blew a fuse and something or shorted something so that didn't work so in the time that went by after I got sidetracked on a few other things um, I was going to get another controller to redo it uh, there was a lot of work involved in all this um, basically uh, splitting the controller you, you find that it's got a, a little plastic sheet like this and you need to split that in half and half goes on into this side the other half goes into the other side and generally you need to then desolder the joysticks off the the mod oops let me just this would have been the little box um, so you can see as the board is in a ps3 controller it um as joystick basically just sits there soldered on there and you need to desolder that and then wire it separately as you can see there um basically you need to do a few things the thing is once you split the plastic sheet that the buttons then sit on I don't know if I could show you this but basically if you look at this you can see how it's got these conductive contacts which then bridge these contacts uh, normally this just sits onto the board uh, you can see there's a little I don't know if you can see that Let's zoom in So there's these contacts here and this, well this is split in half, but um, it just sits in, and by pressure it makes contact with these with these points here. So that just sits like that and those points there make contact with there. So basically once you split it you then got to work out a different way to get it onto uh, have this contact with these points so then what I see basically what I did is just refocus so basically then what I did was wire these uh, well I had these wires to these points here and they use this conductive glue it's basically some silver glue to put the wires on and uh, it's absolutely rubbish <laughs> then have to sort of hot glue it on to hold it don't recommend it it's probably what caused a lot of the problems with this sort of thing uh, what I should have done is made a little board and pressed that onto these contacts and then wired or well, soldered these wires to that little board um, but I don't know what happened. Uh, I had it all working. It was working fine. Had it on an iPad or had it connected to the iPad. Uh, I synced the PS, this PS3 controller to the iPad and was playing fine. I was going to put it back together. Had it all, all the wires snuck in and had these little covers. Had these little covers as you can see there and all these wires set snug in there and had all the different buttons and I'd rewired new uh, See that on rewired new buttons there. It's all working, but then it stopped working. So <laughs> that's where it was. So it got to the point where I thought, well, I'll do it again. Um, 
the time went by, got sidetracked with other things, I'll do it again. But then I discovered, lo and behold, someone had already done it. Uh, new product came on the market, and there's a few of these now. This is the IPEGA 9023. And basically it's the same concept. It's a joy to controller and it uh, stretches out, can fit an iPad. The iPad basically just sits in there. And you've got, uh, this is to unlock this side, so this pulls out. And your iPad just sits in there and you can play your uh, iPad game. So, oh, there it goes. Bit tricky to set up this thing. Just imagine your iPad sitting in there. Something like that. And you can center it. And there you go. So, yeah, I sort of gave up once this came out and uh, thought, well, what's the point? Here it is. I bought one and <laughs> there's no point in doing this thing. But, um, so that's where I was. That's what I been doing, well, not all this time, I was sidetracked with all these other things, but this was the next project I was working on. As you can see, it didn't work out. Well, it did, and then it didn't. <laughs> now I've got to think of different projects. So, uh, if you've got any ideas of other projects to uh, come up with, um, yeah, shoot us a comment in the comment section, and maybe I'll work on that. Alright, cheers.